Okay, you re prolonged exercise. Okay, primary goals are to replace fluid loss and to provide carbohydrate at uh, 30 to 60 grams per hour. Okay, this one is during your race already when you are running in the marathon. Then you have to consume the carbohydrate consumed have to be uh, glucose uh, primary uh, glucose and then fructose alone is not as effective as may cause diarrhea, right? So now nowadays you already have all this uh, gel, right? So you actually can can bring this gel with you. Okay, a mixture of glucose and fructose and other simple sugars or maltodextrin appear effective. Okay, this is all in your gel already. So you can just bring your gel and go, right? Next. Fluid and electrolyte during race. Okay, this one is to drink. You don't forget to drink, okay? Okay, then the amount and weight is depending on the individual sweat rate. That means you have to do your training, you know how frequent you sweat, how much you sweat. Then you only know how much of water you have to drink during your marathon, okay? And fruit containing sodium potassium help to replace your electrolyte loss right? and reduce thrust, stimulate. Okay, so this one all is just telling you that drink water is very important. And then if you can drink isotonic drink like this, it's much more better, right? Next. So don't forget to stop at the water station. Yeah? Some runner they, they want to skip, it's okay, because they know their body. Yeah? Some experienced runner they want to skip, it's okay. So, but if you are not an elite runner, you better don't stop. Myself, I never stop. I never skip. Yeah, you, can, you can stop and drink water, right? I never skip. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> too fast already. Okay, next, 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 next. Hyponatremia. So why you need to drink? Yeah? Because when you have prolonged exercise, heavy sweating, a failure to replace sodium, that means low sodium in your body is actually cause hyponatremia. Yeah? I'm sure Dr. Yi will tell you this later, right? Uh, so this one I just keep that, right? Next, next. Okay, this is my plan. And yeah, this is me again. This is yeah, this was the standard chapter KL uh, last month, right? Uh, okay. So I, for half marathon, I will bring two energy gel and two times 30 ml water. Why two times 30? Because I bring these two water bullets here, you can see the picture. So one bullet is about 30 ml. This is for emergency use only, this water bullet. Yeah, so if the organizer provides us enough water station, actually I don't need to use the bullet I bring, right? So I will just take two energy gel and sip water and I saw it being at every water station. Okay, I will stop. Okay, for full marathon, I plan to take five energy gel and two same like the same thing. The water bullet is for emergency use. Okay, and also same sweet water and isotonic drink at every water station. This is my plan. Okay, yeah. So all of you are different. You can bring whatever is suitable for you. Okay, you want to bring your handphone, GPS is up to you. <laughs> okay, right. So, so this is how I I look when I run. Okay, next. Post race, okay. Next, next, next. <laughs> okay, post race actually is to provide you adequate fluid, electrolyte, uh, energy, and carbohydrate to replace uh, what you have used just now in your marathon, right? So the carbohydrate intake is about one to one point four gram per kilogram body weight, fifteen thirty minutes after the race, and again every two hours to four to six hours. These are all the scientific recommendations now. Yeah, so. Uh, so protein is for building and replace your mu uh, repair repair your muscles, right? And then don't forget to drink. Yeah, if you sweat a lot, you have to drink after your race, right? Thanks. Okay, so this these are some good options for me. Okay, after your race, right after the race, you can drink this uh, sport drinks, right? Or sport bar, cereal bar, chocolate milk, fruit juice, chocolate milk. Uh, so far, I never see any organizer. In Malaysia, uh, they provide chocolate milk after race. Yeah, some they provide nasi lemak. Mm. <laughs> right after your race, you should try something. Yeah, not too savory. Yeah, bananas, watermelon, apple, cakes, or bun with stuffing. Yeah, or sandwich. This one is okay. Right after the, the race. Yeah, that means after you queuing up for your medals or, or you want to take photo. Right after this, you have to take this already. Yeah, don't take too long. Yeah? After your race, you have to take some of this, right? Okay, then after you took your medal, you took photo, everything finished, 
you want to wait for your lucky draw, then you wait. After that, you go home. What should what should you eat? My recommendation here is try to start with something not too savory. That means not too oily. Yeah, no nasi lemak. Yeah, although you will see the signboard is a marathon, right? Uh, pain now, cha kui later. Yeah, so, <laughs> last year, last year. Uh. <laughs> so, yeah, this is for motivation, uh, but <laughs> in the reality, I don't advise you to do that. Yeah, try to start with something simple first. Yeah, of course, motivation when you run, you're already very tired, then you saw the signboard, oh, cha kui then you, you run faster, right? Uh, then it's okay. But for practice, you try something not too savory. Example here, steamed chicken rice with vegetables. Yeah. Okay? Or maybe pasta with meat and salad. Yeah. If you want chakwe tiao, you want nasi kanda later. Yeah, after you take your take a good rest, then only you take a chakwe tiao or nasi kanda, and that, that's okay. For me now, this is my advice. Just something not too oily, not too savory, is good for you after your base. Okay? Huh? So today, uh, this year, do, do we have the signboard again? Uh? <laughs> pain now, uh, maybe pain now, chicken rice later. Ah, okay, that's better, right? Okay, next, next. Uh, this is the last slide already, I think. Yeah. So dietary supplement. Yeah, some of you may want to ask, do I need any supplement? No, uh, the recommendation here from these three professional bodies, in general, no vitamins or mineral supplement are required. If you are consuming, adequate energy from variety of food to maintain body weight. Okay, so actually for you, if you can get enough food from carbohydrate, protein and fat, then you don't need um, any supplement. Okay, next. Okay, this is last slide. Okay, and this was me here <laughs> last year. Okay, last year half marathon. This year I will run full. So I hope to see every one of you at the finishing point. Yeah? If you can recognize, recognize me, you just come and take photo with me or share that with me. Yeah, it's okay, no problem. Yeah? So this is for you. The miracle isn't that I finish. The miracle is that I have the courage to start. So once you sign up for your marathon, you have the courage. This is the miracle. Okay? Thank you very much. Thank you for listening.